All right. So um, now Lilith will take it away. Um, uh, I'm very excited and uh, looking forward to this talk. Last year at JuliaCon, um, she uh, take the rappel through the ringer. And I think today it's even going to be more so. Lots of fun. Exactly what we want to have. Take it away. Thanks. Thank you. Um, so this is a recreational Julia track. So this will be a recreational talk. Um, so first of all, making a game with Julia. Space Invaders. It's a fun little game. Um, it's a nice, easy game to make with Unicode. Um, there's, you know, instead of a GUI, there's this just like a abstract matrix of characters that we print to the screen. Um, and little keyboard stuff uh, based on whether people are uh, uh, based on reading standard in. Nice classic way to get uh, keyboard input. Uh, see if the characters are these special characters. Um, supports WASD and arrow keys, I believe. And then um, got to have these fancy letters. Um, and then the, the way this it all comes together in this spaceinvaders.jl file um, is there's some enemies that go back and forth, um, and there's a bunch of levels. And I want to have a bunch of levels, and I want them to get progressively more difficult, and I want interesting variations between the levels. And so I defined these levels parametrically. So each level has a certain uh, width and height of the blob of enemies, if you've played Space Invaders before. And bullets are slower at higher levels, so you can't fire as many bullets as quickly, and the enemies move faster. Um, yeah, and the time, time speeds up as the game progresses, multiple levels. So uh, that's, uh, that's the gist of it. Um, and if I use... Oh, nope, that's not. Let's use Space Invaders. Great. I love this autocomplete because it can teach me how to play. How do I play? Probably main. This I created before the main entry point, so otherwise there'd be a main entry point. And huzzah! Oh, so it works better on Linux. There's special characters. The, this one on the bottom is the little spaceship Unicode character, and then these arrows are uh, little bullet icons, and those are ships. So let's see if this, uh, can I get this to work? In This is Chapel, by the way. I'm coming from the Chapel talk. And I couldn't use Linux because Linux couldn't send low resolution to the AV, and the AV couldn't handle high resolution. It was a whole, whole deal. Um... Or maybe I could just, uh, is this font going to be different here? Nope. Okay. Um, we don't have that much time. I could change the font. Um, also, here's something cool. The width and height of the enemies block is scaled based on the size of the screen. So because I want to go full screen, um, I can make this, I can zoom in more, and this will make the game go faster because there's fewer pixels. I don't know how to change the font preferences. Is that worth, someone suggested from the audience that I change the terminal, Ooh, terminal settings, font. Oh, it's so small. Text? Ah. All fonts, Monaco. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What? <laughs> there it is. Oh, nope. Well, anyway, Apple can do a lot of things, but rendering spaceships is not one of them. Ooh. Ooh. 
So yeah, this is how it works. And okay, there's one other thing that I think is really worth advertising, and that is Space Invaders is a REPL mode. Um, you might think, why make a REPL mode? I mean, you probably don't think that. It's obvious why you would want to make a REPL mode. Um, if you're just, you know, in the REPL, oh, level two. <laughs> okay, but let's try the REPL mode. Um, so if I'm using, wow, I like this font. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there are a lot of characters available for starting REPL modes. You can't start a REPL mode when you press A with an empty REPL. That can't open a new REPL mode, right? Because you could start a line of code with A, and that'd be perfectly normal. But like, you're not going to start a line of code with uh, semicolon, so that can start a REPL mode. You're not going to start with close square brace, so that can start a REPL mode. You could do close parentheses, although some package somewhere uses that. Um, there's not very many other characters available though. But what is available is space, because you never start a line of code on the REPL with space, not the first line. So when you press space, it launches Space Invaders. Perfect REPL mode. It's a great mnemonic device. Um, yeah, any questions? Do we have questions from the audience? Yeah. Yes, Mark. <laughs> How quickly can you exit Space Invaders? How quickly can you exit it? You can just do Control C. Okay. I won't demo it because then I'll lose my progress. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's like it's so easy to get in. You know, I might need to get out of it as quickly. Yeah, yeah. You can Control C to get out. So it's like two. It's a single keyboard thing. As someone who's done a lot of REPL mode hacking at this point, um, do you have any thoughts on, like making the whole API better? It's kind of just what happened. Um, yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to have raw character input. Right now, I'm working with um, draw. I'm I'm doing reading standard in, and that is super hacky. So it would be nice to um to just have the like raw access basically let me use the REPL as if it's a GUI. That's what I'd really like to do. Oh no, I'm not gonna win this level. No, no, no. Oh yes, yes, yes. Come on. <sighs> nice. <laughs> um and the creating a new REPL mode is actually very easy. Oh, this one's not gonna work. Oh no. Um and I use the REPL builder oh, Tisk tisk. I used the. There's a package to make. It's like REPL Builder or something. REPL Mode Builder. It's uh, super easy to make a new REPL mode. So that's great. Um, and the printing. I mean, printing as a display works totally fine. So not not much improvement except for I for making games in the REPL. It'd be nice to have raw keyboard input, as opposed to just a TTY. <laughs> yes. Have you thought about giving the uh giving it color? Ah, color. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Good idea. Um I hadn't thought of it until just now. Uh the Unicode character for the spaceship though is colored. It just I mean, it's just a question mark here. <gasps> But yeah, that would be good. And then different, we could have different enemy types that require different number of bullets. Whole, whole deal. <laughs> and if there's no more questions from the audience, my final question is, is this an official package or do I need to go to your user on GitHub to uh, install it? It's official. It's in the uh, official Julia WTF uh, organization, which is one of the most official and reputable uh, <laughs> repositories of Julia uh, packages. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>